Hello, uh, today we will see how to create this uh, watercolor effect using uh, Adobe Photoshop. Alright, so let's get to it. Okay, so open your Adobe Photoshop and uh, we will make a new file by going to File, New. So I will just keep it in this measure, but feel free to change the, the measure that you want and press OK. Now I uh, will uh, unlock this uh, background by pressing Alt and one click. And uh, the first thing we will do is we will go to Filter and then Filter Gallery in here. And now we will choose uh, in this folder Textures, we will choose Texturizer in here. Will uh, make the scanning to uh, 75 percent and the relief to three. And for uh, the light, we will make sure it's top right in here, and we we'll press OK. As you can see, it give it this uh, uh, paper or canvas texture. And now we'll go uh, to the image that we want to use, and we will just uh, take it and drag it in here. And uh, I will uh, resize it a little bit, so I will just make it smaller, like this, and I will press enter. Now I will, I will drag the, the texture I'm uh, be using in the file in here, so I will put this texture in a link where you can download it from the description below. and. When uh, you're done resizing it, just press enter. Now I will change the blending mode to uh, linear burn and I will make the opacity to 50%. Now I will go to the uh, this image uh, file and I will uh, go to this icon in here, layer mask icon and I will press alt and one click so it will hide it as you can see. Now I will go to my brushes and I will load this uh, uh, watercolor brushes. I will also put a link where you can download it uh, from the link in the description below. And now I will just uh, paint uh, over the layer mask in here. So we just try to paint a little bit, like so. Like uh, it doesn't matter. Like to just you know uh, choose uh, the color that you want to. Make your uh, appearing like so, as you can see. So we just do that and you know uh, change the, the colors and the brushes. I mean uh, the brushes. It's a really easy uh, and uh, really nice effect that works uh, really cool. So and I will change the brush again. Choose this one in here, and you can all uh, always like transform the the brush like so, maybe like that, and a bit in here. And now I will change the brush again. Resize it a little bit. All right, so something like that. Now uh, I will make a new layer under this uh, uh, image in here. So I will just press Ctrl and click New Layer. And as you can see, it makes it under this one. Now I will choose a, a red color, and I will uh, also like paint a little bit in red, like so. And uh, maybe I will choose another brush. New paint in here. Like so now I will change the brush again. And this time I will choose a yellow color and paint in here as you can see a little bit and 
Now, uh, once you uh, satisfied with the, your painting, now what I, I can do, I will just duplicate the, the texture layer in here and will uh, make it normal and then I will make the opacity for like 60 or 70 percent. Now I will uh, hide it with a layer mask and I will try to uh, paint again but this time in uh, the edges in here so I will just paint really quickly like so you can use whatever brush or you can change the brushes but for this tutorial I will just do, with, do it with uh, the same brush as you can see just rotate it Now I will make a curve adjustment, so I will go to layer, new adjustment layer and I choose curves, so it's ok. Now I will try to darken it a little bit in here and a little bit like that and maybe more like so. Alright, now we just reduce this uh, the, the opacity of this texture 50% and that's it. Uh, so, uh, this is a, a really easy effect that you can use with different images. I hope that you like and uh, you enjoy this tutorial. And it was a little bit helpful for you. Don't forget to subscribe and comment, and you know, have a nice day. Thank you for watching.